All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Um, we were away for maybe two days. Uh, the Muslims they are doing their best to flag my videos, but still YouTube is being fair. <clears throat> so that's very good, and uh, their attempt uh, was a failure. Uh, anyway, as you know, we have many accounts in case. Uh, and nobody can stop us. Uh, however, I took this uh, 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 as an advantage for me, actually. Um, this is what the topic will be about today. So you will see in the screen. Uh, <clears throat> but when the Muslim flagged my videos, actually, I said to myself, that's perfect. I will go back and work in my books. So now I'm going back <clears throat> and working in the translation of the Quran, which I started a while ago. Uh, because many of you keep asking me why you don't do it, why you don't do it, so I decide to finish it. So now I'm back to work in the Quran translation. <clears throat> and not only that, uh, once once of you ask me uh, why we don't have a Quran translation according to the revelation, which means the original way. So I'm going to do the Quran, which is going to be the first time a Quran translated in such a way, which is according to revelation as Muhammad claimed. Which means we start from chapter 96 to be the first chapter as it is shows up in Islamic source. So uh, the Muslim, they start stop me, but you, you cannot stop me because if I don't go live on air, I will be doing something else. It's going to be more even more harmful to the cult of Islam. So don't don't try me, Muslims. Don't try me. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm not going to stay long because, as I said, I decided to finish this book. Uh, as you see in the front of us, uh, this is a picture of women, makeup, perfume you see one of the things about about Islam is the hypocrisy of Muhammad Muhammad is a man who blamed the women for everything but he don't mind to have a lot of them the women is the devil the women is the ugly the women she come in the image of in the, in the, in the shape of a devil and she retreat in the image of the devil but yet he have 13 of them and not only that he made verses that's Allah said to him, take as many as you wish of them. Any woman she can give herself to you. So the woman who is in the shape of the devil, as we see in the hadith, <clears throat> just to re refresh the memory of some people. Just to be sure that we are not making things up. Muhammad, he don't mind to look at the women, enjoy their body, getting horny. And yet he blamed the women for making him excited. And then when a woman, she walked by, he could not handle himself. And obviously he is looking a very dirty way because looking at the women will not make you horny unless you are thinking about it. And, you know, we men, we know what we are talking about. You know, we will not, you know, if you see a woman in the street, why she is going to make you excited sexually unless you are thinking about her sexually. Let us say you have a sister, she is beautiful. Are you going to be excited to see her sexually? No. Why? Because she's your sister, supposedly, right? So you get excited because you think about someone is possible to be someone you enjoy looking at. And this is a prophet of God who is supposedly a decent man, who is a man of God. He is not me or you. This is a prophet. And yet the Muslim even they claim that he is the best of mankind, which means he have the best morality, he have the best uh, uh, character, he have the best uh, ethic. But I never saw any so any any good uh, in in the ethic of Muhammad. And as you see here, a woman she was walking by Muhammad, he go and get horny after he look and stare at the woman, staking at her you know body parts. Uh, the woman she did nothing wrong. She's not wearing a bikini. She's wearing Islamic clothes. And we're in the front of him, and that still did not prevent Muhammad from being a horny man. Now here we see that the stupidity of the burqa, that a burqa did not prevent a man from thinking of women. Maybe it's going to do the opposite. I remember once, uh, uh, this was a year ago or two years ago, I was in the beach swimming, and then a, a man, he came and his wife were in a burqa. And actually when I swim, I like to be far away from everybody. You know, I take a side where it's not busy. And this is why this Abdul, he decided to come to the, to the side where I am. So he and his wife, she's, he's, she's wearing a burqa. They jump in the water. 
and he got close to me and then when he got close to me he said please can you keep a distance I said to him you are the one who came here you keep a distance I am here before you so why you don't keep a distance yourself why you came here did you see me here before you the Abdul get upset and he ordered his wife he spoke to her like a goat and he ordered her to get out but when she got out now the burqa she's wearing nothing underneath you can see every single details in her body the fabric stuck in her body as it is a, a tissue <clears throat> and you know what I'm talking about so you can see everything you know yes she is wearing a burqa but the fact <clears throat> the burqa never stop somebody from thinking about a woman in a disgusting way or a dirty way and actually burqa increased desire for women why because you became more curious to see what is underneath of this thing this is why you know in Islamic countries where more burqa exist more crime sexual crime is exist too because you want to see what is underneath and when you take what is underneath you get disgusted and you run away so the burqa actually is a very good thing for many women in Islamic countries especially those who they are not good-looking because in the street everybody look the same you know so a man he chased her he want to talk to her he feel in love she speak to him he's, he's beautiful etc it's like internet stuff <clears throat> where the man he claimed that he is seven foot tall and he is etc what, what is your color of your eyes uh, blue eyes how tall are you I'm eight foot you know and what about you oh I am uh, etc the women she start describing someone she never even you know imagined to be so internet lies but the burqa is exactly the same there's a guy actually I know his story and this is a real story not like the Sahir Bukhari where the man he married a woman he go to her family he asked for a woman to marry her and they gave him his sister her sister so when they went there he opened the burqa and he found different product you know and for sure there is a term policy so burqa never been something for good it was the opposite it make society more corrupt women they can do cheat and nobody one knows they can they can go I mean if even if you see your wife walking with somebody in the street but she's wearing burqa how do you know this is your wife you will not know you will not know it doesn't matter who is she you would never know who is she and you don't have that you don't even can like you cannot ask her to show me your face so uh, this is why in the Bible in the Old Testament you will see that uh, there's a story about a woman they thought she is a whore <clears throat> because she was wearing a burqa why in the old days women who do prostitution they cover their face because this is the only way to hide their identity and nobody will you know will go after them in the street now here with in the front of us we see Muhammad seeing a woman wearing burqa <clears throat> yet he is excited he go to his wife and look he claimed that women they advance and retire in the shape of the devil but this is not the only issue we go back to the image as you see in the front of us we have perfume now many of you will say to himself I mean what this what does have to do with Islam Muhammad he did not put he did not leave anything he did not put his nose in it so imagine Muhammad he said that a woman she wear a perfume and that perfume is not only inside her door which means inside the house and if she wore him a perfume and she go out in the street she is a whore as simple as that a woman wearing a perfume in the street she is a whore let us see the reference Read carefully with me. <clears throat> the Messenger of Allah said, Any woman who puts a perfume, which means on her, then passes by people so that they can smell her frequency, she is then she is an adulteress. Just for doing that. If we ask the Muslims, can a Muslim man wear a perfume? In the front of the people they say yes do the Prophet Muhammad he wear a perfume they say yes so how come if the women she wear a perfume she is a whore but if a man he wore a perfume he is okay 
if you are saying to me that a man can be tempted by the perfume well don't the women get tempted too by perfume so you're assuming that always the women is the guilty and the women she is the evil and when she put the perfume she is trying to tempt somebody and seduce him but when a man you see the man he can show his face why women they cannot be tempted by a face of a man or a look of a man who told you that why we don't order the man to cover with burqa too what is the logic of the burqa if the logic is that men get tempted by seeing women well women get tempted by seeing men if the perfume will tempt a man well, a perfume will tempt a woman. So why Muhammad, he himself, he enjoy, and look what he said in the hadith. He said that Allah gave him a joy. The best of what joys he have uh, is the joy of women and perfume. Allah Messenger said, women and perfume have been made dear, dear to me. <clears throat> okay. This guy, he have no shame. He's not shy to say, well, this and this is my best thing in, in this, in, in, you know, like in this dunya, which mean uh, in this world. So why Muhammad can go and wear his perfume and women, they can smell it. Why women, they can offer themselves. Can a woman offer herself to different man except Muhammad or only to Muhammad? So you will see here the hypocrisy of this cult, how disgusting it is. Everything is upside down. If the women she have some perfume, she is a whore. But remember, Muhammad, he have no problem that women she is renting herself for sex for one night stand, and she is not a whore. But if you have a perfume, you are a whore. So, uh, actually, there's a hadith, Muhammad, he said, if a woman she have a perfume uh, she left her house uh, uh, with perfume Allah will never forgive her and she will never uh, uh, go to heaven now let me find you the hadith just to show you we are not making things up you know because because the Muslims they might say oh this is not true what this guy is saying I, I don't like to say something unless I can uh, prove it uh, let me search for the hadith and trying to find it <clears throat> so just by by having a perfume you will not be able to go and attend heaven which means you are cursed forever and this is your crime you see it why why Muhammad why the Muslim men they can go out the house of the wood perfume why the man he can why Muhammad he color his hair but if the woman she do so Allah curse her why Muhammad he ordered them to to trim their mustache or even to shave their mustache but if the woman she take her from her face Allah will curse her do we have any Muslim here to say something about about this as you notice here this is all proving nothing but deception and corruption of this man this man he don't want to say he don't want to admit that he is the corrupt man he want to cl claim the women for corruption to the point Muhammad he said if not Eve no women will betray her husband and the funny Muhammad he claimed that he don't believe in the original sin but he have no problem to blame the sin of every human being on women going back to Eve which mean is if today if a man he do something wrong it is the women who betray and this woman betraying because she is the same as Eve if not Eve so all the women in the world they follow the example of Eve Eve if the is the best example of corruption so you notice here how Islam focus very much on putting the women down making her look always like a whore she is the devil she is the ugly she is the disgusting and yet Muhammad in the heaven he will give you each one of you at least 72 women just for sex but they are the devil the same as the wine the wine is made by the devil but yet in the heaven he will have a river of wine for you so 
uh, uh, in different hadith, let me let us see if we can find the other one, the one we told you about. She will not go to heaven. Yeah, I think we saw it. Yeah, the messenger of Allah said, any woman who has uh, uh, perfumed with inc uh, 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 incense should not attend Isha the later with us. This is a stupid translation. I mean, Muslims when they translate, it's the most stupid translation. I mean, why are you why are you adding words there in Arabic? Isn't this supposed to be translation? So how somebody will know what Isha mean now? And this is not about having the Isha, you idiot. This is about the the end of the time, not later with us. This is not about later with us. Stupid translation. This is about the judgment day. Asha ul akhira, not later. The akhira. I mean, when the Muslim translate. Their translation not only funny, it's stupid. That's why I, I, I want to finish the Quran translation, so it's going to be ready uh, 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 soon. So, the women she will not attend with us. What Aisha? You know, when you remember uh, when Muhammad he said when the Muslims they go to the heaven, uh, uh, Allah will feed them, and especially the men, he will. Uh, he will feed them from the liver of the whale and I think many of you knows already why Allah will give them the liver of the whale because that will give them uh, extra uh, power for sex the Arab believed I forgot what the name in, in English um, I spoke about it in my book uh, sex and Allah you can check it out there is there is a special uh, uh, hormone in the whale or even in the deer exists in the deer so that hormone have a very nice smell and it it is it is a, a, a natural a body uh, production by the male to uh, seduce the female this is for the animals so this is why this part they call it amber actually amber in arabic let's see what what amber will turn into in english hold on <coughs> I think they call it amber in English. Amber. Uh, yeah, I think it's called amber. So when uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a sexual hormone. Uh, and it's very expensive so when you go <clears throat> when you go to heaven uh, Allah will will provide you with this amber yeah I'm trying to find the English word I think it is uh, it was uh, uh, amber in English it's the same almost uh, because I think this is not even an Arabic word anyway <clears throat> anyway so the Muslims when they go to heaven Allah will prepare them in a special way to be very very strong in sex and uh, if you remember Muhammad he promised them that when you go there Allah will give you a penis will never go to sleep and how he can do that simply by the food they will eat which is amber and the liver of the whale uh, this is why when when a Jewish man he asked Muhammad what is the meal what is the first meal people they enter heaven is going to be Muhammad he said to him the kidney of uh, uh, of the whale we find it here the Jewish on that the prophet recite the verse okay and then he says okay uh, okay what is the first meal so he asked him, what is the first meal people of paradise they will eat? Look what Muhammad he said. For the first meal in the for the people of heaven, of paradise, it will be the cow did. Is that a correct translation? The liver? Is cow did the, the liver? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what this word means in English. It should be the liver if, if the translation is accurate. <clears throat> so the first the first actually here it says the fish liver here we go I extra in front of us I extra 
uh, loop of the fish liver. See it? So you notice that this religion, your reward is women, your heaven is about women, is about sex, is about vagina. But women are the most discriminated person in this cult. A man, he can have four of them, but yet they are the devil. So we can have four devil. Women are evil, but Muhammad, he have 13 wives, plus God knows how many hundreds of sex slaves. Women are disgusting, but Muhammad, uh, he, he, he liked two things in this earth, women and perfume. I mean, what kind of hypocrisy this cult is? The women, she cannot wear a perfume because the second she do so, she became a whore. She is an adulteress. But Muhammad, he have no problem if he wear a perfume and he tempt women. Because if the perfume, the problem with it, if a woman, she wear it, she is tempting men, then why the man can tempt women? This is an Islamic website. They are asking, if a woman, she is wearing perfume and she go out with her husband, they say there's no problem with that. But if she's alone, look what it says. Putting on perfume and going out with the aim of letting non-muhram, non-muhram, this is what's stupid about Muslim translation again, non-muhram, muhram mean a male who is from your family, is either your husband, your brother, your father, that is called him muhram. So if non-muhram go out, which means none of your family, the men smell it, that is a major sin in Islam. Do you see it? This is haram. This is a major sin. So having sex with the children is not major sin. Doing breastfeeding for adult is not major sin. Doing muta is not major sin. Multiplying your wives is not major sin with no limit, by the way, because they say to you for wives, this is a lie. For wives, you can have in the same time, but there's no limit. You can divorce every day, new wives and marry new wives. So perfume, having perfume is a sin, will make you a whore, as we showed you in the hadith. So how we can say that this religion is religion of, uh, of, of, uh, of ethic? Is that ethical? Is that really what make an ethic? Is that what going to establish ethic? Obviously, the, the, the founder of Islam do not know even what ethic means. Can you see the screen guys? Okay, so if this is ethic, this is this is stupid Muhammad having verses saying any woman she want to give her private part to him is ethical Muhammad coloring his hair red is ethical Women They take hair from their face is not ethical that will make Allah angry Why Allah will be angry if a woman she take hair from her face? It was narrated by from Ibn Abu Musa that the Prophet said, if a woman put a perfume and passes by the people so they can smell it, her, smell her frequency, then she is such and such. You see, this is a false translation. He did not say such and such. He said she is a whore. She is a whore and a whore. She is an adulteress, means because she exposed to zina. Oh, by wearing by wearing perfume, you are exposed to adultery. Marrying a woman for one night stand, or uh, you know the Muslim Sunni. If you have my book Sex and Allah, you will see how many kind of marriage they have. None of them is marriage. How many of you have uh, have a Sex and Allah book? If you have it from the beginning, from volume number one, you will see there is marriage, marriages before Islam, and there is marriages after Islam. And you will notice that marriages before Islam, uh, uh, Arab are very, uh, I mean, it's very open society. But after Islam, nothing changed. It's the same. All what they do, they change the definition, and they change the name, and they change the rules, but it's the same. Because still you can have before before Islam women she can have more than one husband in the same time. 
before after Islam the man can have many more than wife in the same time but it's the same what is different why it's okay for a man to have many wives but it's not okay for the man a woman to have many husbands I mean what is the logic they say to you the logic is we want to know who is the father well today we can know who is the father easy a little test with the DNA we can know It's very easy, and you will notice in the in Arabia before Islam, when the woman she get pregnant from multiple men, which means she have up to ten husbands. Ten husbands, imagine, she choose who is the father. She say, "This is your son," and whatever he, she choose, he accept. This is the rules. So the problem is solved. So this is not. There's no ethic here. You see, when God he. Uh, uh, he created Adam. He created one Adam, one Eve. The most time they will say to you, "Do you know how many women David he have? Who told you that David he was doing what God told him? Show me what he said to him. Go and marry as many as you wish." David was a sinner. He cried to God, asking for forgiveness. He was doing what kings do, with all their corruption and 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 bad ethic. Do you think David is, you know, uh, we we Christian we don't believe same as Muslim. They believe that Muhammad was a amazing man uh, the Bible teaches us that every man is a sinner except the, the Lord the God who came in a, in a form of a man but he never commits sin so you will notice here how the corruption of Islam and how always the corruption is blamed on the women but in the Muslim Sunni they have something called a uh, uh, Zawaja friend if I go right now let me search for it in Google if I search for Zawaja friend let us see What is Zawaja friend? Here we go. You can search yourself. I even search for it in the in English. Zawaja friend. Zawaja friend mean you go and you find a woman you want to sleep with her. All right, and you agree to have sex, but she is legally supposed to be your wife. But she is the 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 point of this uh, what called marriage is not marriage is having sex. You go and rent a hotel, you know. And then, you know, you have sex. They have the wajil musyar. They have the wajil friend. They have a, a travel, a tra a travel marriage. Like you want to go from uh, from New York to Los Angeles. You you don't want to take your wife with you. So what do you do? You arrive in the hotel in in uh, in uh, Los Angeles or New York, and you say to the hotel, "Do you know? Do you have like a girl? She can marry me for three days. I will stay here. She come with the suit, like with the with the reservation." And then you do uh, Islamic contract, but they call it marriage. But the fact this is not having to do with marriage. So they have muta, still they do muta, but they different, different. They give it different name. The Sunni they lie about the Shia. They say only the Shia they practice muta, but the fact the Muslim they still practice muta, but they have they have given it different titles. Uh, what is exactly this is a this is a guy saying, in the Sunni school of thought. There is apparently something called Zawaja friend, which is apparently similar to boyfriend girlfriend relationship. So I have a few questions. What is exactly the difference between Zawaja friend and Missyar? Is that the practice accepted in my mainstream Sunni? Are there are there any uh, other things such as uh, this uh, Zawaja friend Missyar in the Sunni faith? Is this practice as uh, talked about? Uh, and and uh, propagated often etc. So so this guy is asking question about why the Muslim Sunni he is look like a Shia I think he is asking why they do that. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so th they have all kind of madness. But perfume will make you wearing a perfume will make you a whore. But having a contract to sleep with the man in the hotel for three or four days and getting paid for it is not a prostitution Islam. But you wearing a perfume that will make you a whore. So was your friend? Simply, you don't even live together. You only have like you rent a, a, a motel room for two hours to have sex. So she is your wife only during that time. And they call it was your friend. <laughs> I mean, do you see? Do you see this cult? 
you see they fabricate everything they say when a Muslim he says we are against adultery you need to know Islamic adultery deficient definition is different from adultery in Christianity or Judaism there's no adultery in Islam all what you need to do to do adultery in Islam you have to do it by the rules because everything is adultery they don't have marriage this is why a Muslim man if you speak to you if you meet a man a Muslim man in Facebook or etc the first time you speak to him he might ask for your hand to marry you anyone any ladies here encounter that right away he want to marry you especially if you need a green card or a visa or etc so because you don't care for him it's just a sex contract there's nothing it's called marriage in two seconds he will ask for your leg or your hand marry me yesterday I was watching a funny video a guy he is like 26 and he have a woman honest to God she is like a hundred year old and he was recording himself with her and he is kissing her head and he said this is my lovely wife and supposedly she asked him to to prove that he really loved her and make a video like this otherwise he would marry her for for the for the for the papers uh, so he decided to prove to her that he did not marry her for the paper so he made this video all right obviously you know if you see her you will die laughing uh, so the was a friend miss your travel travel marriage uh, it's like a laptop yet a woman she wear a perfume she is a whore uh, let us see what else see here I wish I can play uh, play for you those videos but we cannot they are talking about uh, the was a friend you see the shake here you can search for it for them Sunni version of Muta. Misyar marriage is a unique, unique Sunni Muslim uh, uh, innovation. Misyar marriage de defined as an official. I don't know. Can you read, guys? Is the text clear or so small? Is the text clear or is it so small? Let me see if I can make it bigger. The problem this website if I make the text bigger it still doesn't make any difference because I have to zoom out you can okay so anyway you can search for those like as an example Messiah marriage what is this uh, stupid Messiah marriage it's the same as Muta it's the same they just give it give it different names all of it is just about sex so uh, 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 the idea is in Islam that you can do adultery but just do it as the Prophet said and you are safe you want to have sex you are horny you want to hire a woman to have sex with you just do it in a halal way nothing more nothing less they speak too much about ethic and and uh, and dignity and over women are like juries but in islamic islamic cultures is the most scary culture ever i you know i grew up all, all, all my life in the middle east and i know what it is if if women there they knew there's a guy he is single and he have a phone like in the old days we don't have cell phone as you remember you know like cell phone uh started maybe 1998 96 i don't remember but before that it's only landline so your name in the yellow pages and if they knew that this number is a for a single guy even if you are married they don't care your phone number will not stop women they will be calling you you answer the phone you will see a woman whispering sorry i cannot talk loud why my husband is here <laughs> My husband is here corruption adultery uh, 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 cheating but the outside look of the society everybody wearing burqa everybody have a beard everybody wearing white clothes everybody saying inshallah alhamdulillah mashallah etc but if you go under the table you will see all the worms by millions it's upside society you see in the west if a woman she have a boyfriend she don't she say i have a boyfriend 
in the in Islamic countries, they don't have a boyfriend, they have hundreds. The same woman she will be dating many because she don't know who is the one who will accept her at the end to marry her because many of them to try even to get a, to get a husband not to date but because the society is is a, is a secret society there's two the islamic society have two faces there's the outside and there's the inside and the inside is extremely extremely ugly the outside look like the marble covering the grave. You know how beautiful the marble is? Rich people, they put marble over their grave. But having marble will not change the fact that this is a grave. So we can build a beautiful grave, but the grave is a grave. And this is how the Islamic society is. So when when you when you hear a muslim sheikh speaking about the west the western are adulterous the western are disgusting the western they have sex in the street the western if i go right now and search in youtube if i type two words you will go crazy you will not believe what you will see if i know that youtube will not take my video down i can show you but i will type for you a word in the text you can copy it and you can search yourself I will type the word into text in Arabic. You can search for this word, just one word. Just one, one is enough. You will find millions and millions and millions of videos of Muslim women doing things you cannot believe. But remember, all of them they are wearing hijab. We have to be honest, they are very conservative. Very, very conservative. Hijab, my friend, we are conservative people. So let us make it simple and clear. A society says, or a religion says, that a woman she wear a perfume, just by doing that, she is a whore. And then we find that everything upside down. The man he can have a perfume, the man he can look at women, the man he can get horny, the man he can get excited, the man he can do whatever he want. But the women is the always one to blame. This is a very corrupt society. There is no dignity in this society, and they blame the women for every evil. When the fact Islam making sexuality is a major reason to live. Why I want to uh, uh, pray to God? Why you know is that because I want to go and be happy with God? No, I want to have virgins. I want to have the sex. I want to have the women. I want to have the, the, the private party he promised me to have an endless private pr penis. So, Islam made sex the reason to live. In Christianity, the reason to go to heaven to be with the Lord, for he will provide us happiness we cannot describe. Happiness have nothing to do with our private part and our belly. But in Islam, your happiness is about your stomach, about your penis. The happiness is about you being abusing others. You know, when the Quran says that Allah will give you 80,000 in the in the in the interpretation, 80,000 servant, little boy. And they are boys. This one have no translation. Let us see this one. The least of the people of paradise, the least in position, that's the bad ones, with 80,000 servants and 72 wives. So look at this. If you ask the Muslims, what is the servants? He will say to you, they are boys. The Quran described them as young youth who they are very white, extremely white, and they will not bleed. Okay, so I will have 80,000 little child, little boy who is very white like pearls, and obviously he is there for sex too because the Muslims if you remember we have uh, we have many callers before and the Muslims all of them agree not one even did not that in heaven yes you can have sex with anything you want even your mother your sister the children doesn't matter you remember so you will have 80 thousands now what kind of God in order because I did obey him by bowing down to him he will give me the opportunity to abuse 80,000 little child for eternity. 
eighty thousand Islam heaven enjoy abuse of children and abuse of women here he says this is by the way remember those are the lowest this is the least this is the bad Muslims those are not the good Muslim they will get this there's there's 100 rank in Islam so this is rank the lowest rank 80,000 boy and then 72 women who they will be your sex slave women you never met women which Allah created just for sex and what make it more ugly Muhammad he claimed that those women Allah will take jealousy from their heart which means they will be literally sex toys they have no jealousy they have no emotion they are just there to take off their panty actually they have no panty at all and they are women to the, they are so white to the point you can see their bones because Muhammad was racist and he knew the Arab they like white women so he exaggerated about how white they are so he said that those women they will be white to the point we can see the marrow of their bones as you see in front of you in the hadith so those women you will see they will be so pure transparent he by the way it's not, it's not about being pure it, they will be so white they are so beautiful to the point you can see the marrow of their bones and their legs through their flesh so this religion not only put the women as a sex toy not only make it as just a reward for sex not only it make it like a machine just to enjoy and to throw and like it's like you are a man who have a remote control controlling everybody around you you have eighty thousand little child to satisfy you you have a lot of women who they are made just for sex and by the way all those women they have one name whore all of them they have one voice they have one look one face and they have one height and they have one shape which is very stupid because what the point of sleeping with 1000 women if all of them they look the same I mean that's it one of them is the same they have exactly it's exactly the same woman so Islam teach you and encourage you to be an abuser of a children and women and make you a person who worship vagina not God what is the purpose of serving Allah is the vagina is not obeying Allah I want to get the reward what about Allah don't mention the vagina and let us see how many of them they will stay as a Muslim then after they go there give them the reward which is surprise surprise you know what I mean if 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 Muhammad did not mean by mentioning the vagina and the size of the penis and the power of the penis is not important why you mention it make it a surprise for them no problem you want to make them have an endless penis okay give them that but when they go there but not now if you mention that now there's many people they will go to Islam because they are perverted and this is exactly the purpose the purpose is to tempt you with sexuality so you came blind you see when you are under temptation you don't calculate your consequence and you don't think you are just tempted now when you are under the influence of temptation you don't mind to put a suicide belt and explode yourself between the bunch of people because now you want to go to heaven the guy he told you the second Muhammad he said the second your first drop of a blood came out from your body you are already in heaven this is what he told them a person who is dying the second he his his blood he started bleeding he is now going to heaven so everybody want to die why those poor people want to stay in this earth to, to get what to go to work to work all day to get a few dollars in their pocket what about I die now I kill the infidels and then Allah will take me to heaven and this is what it's called the human sacrifice you see the Muslim they, they they lie they say Christianity believe in a human sacrifice sacrifice that's that's a lie human sacrifice if I sacrifice somebody as simple as as that if I say okay we will bring you a guy we will kill him so God will be happy this is not the story in Christianity in Christianity Jesus he said nobody can take myself from me I lay down myself so nobody force him 
which means I am not the one who sacrifice him. And it's not a part of belief that you sacrifice somebody to God and this body is one of us. Jesus is not one of us. Jesus for us is God himself. So what the sacrifice is speaking about, that Jesus, because he loves us, he knew they would kill him. Yet he don't mind that such a crucifixion will happen. Extreme love. So in Christianity, God himself, he sacrificed himself. It's not sacrificing of a human being. In Islam, you have to kill, so Allah will get happy. This is a human sacrifice. Why, if I kill infidels, Allah will be happy? Because he need a human sacrifice. He enjoy blood shade. Why God don't do that? If Allah is God, why he don't go and kill the infidels? Why he needed to fight for him and kill for him? And that will make him happy. What about he make himself happy? The Quran confirm everything we say. The Quran says, Fight them, Allah, he torture them by, their, by your hands. Do you see it? Chapter 9, verse number 14. Kill them and torture them. First translation, by the way, here it says, You are the not punish them. Allah will torture them by your hands. Allah will torture them. Allah, He enjoyed the torture. And that because Allah is a fake God. Because if Allah is a true God, why He need a poor Abdul like you to die for Him, do a human sacrifice, blood sacrifice, so He enjoy His uh, meal in the heaven? What about He kill us? As long as He is God, He's Almighty, He's powerful. Do He need you to fight for Him and kill us? So Muhammad, He put in the mind of those people that Allah, He ordered you to kill them because he punish you by your hands. This is why you see in different verse in the Quran, it says, You will see every single member of ISIS or Al-Qaeda or terrorist in Syria or in Iraq repeating this verse before he slaughtered somebody. Always. Before they slaughter somebody, they say, we did not, you know, because Allah told them in the Quran, chapter 8, 8 verse number 17, 17 you Muslim, you slew them not, but Allah He slew them. So a Muslim, when he put his knife, a terrorist, he put his knife in the neck of somebody and he slaughtered him. He repeat that exact verse. Huh? I did not throw Mary arrow. I did not slaughter you, but Allah He slaughtered you. And Muhammad, he made this verse for them just to make them feel comfortable for uh, uh, free of guilt. So you slaughter thousands of people, no problem. It's not you who killed them, it's Allah. Don't worry about it. It's not you who killed them, it's Allah who killed them. And this is why you see every day in the news. I mean, can you find one day you don't see an explosion, terrorist attack somewhere in the world? Not a single day. For all of them, they want to go to heaven and get the vagina. This is why I say Islam is nothing but the religion of vagina. Have nothing to do with God. Have nothing to do with ethic. Have nothing to do with morality. Have to do only with sexuality. All the purpose of it, Muhammad, he used the vagina to tempt men to kill for him and he will be victorious. And now the cult continue. Muhammad is dead, and he got what he can get. But now you will be punished because of the cult of Muhammad. The vagina temptation will never end. Every day, there's many, you know, you will notice that those who have education, they don't do really do suicide bombing. As an example, mostly, Usama bin Laden, as an example, who as he's an engineer, but he don't go and do suicide bombing by himself. The guy he was hiding between goats and chickens. 
So he asked his men, the poor ones, to go and do suicide bombing, but he himself he will not do that. The one now who took after him as Zawari is a doctor, he's very highly educated, but yet he will not do suicide bombing. He will ask for a poor Abdul to suicide himself because they themselves they are not convinced really with Islam. Islam is great for you if you are a leader because you take advantage of others and you make people die for you. Did you ask yourself why Osama bin Laden he did not join the 19 when they attacked 9 11? Did you ask yourself why he hide? Why he don't want to die as a hero? Why he don't want to die in the field as a shaheed, as a murderer? As long as he is convinced that the murder is higher than a normal man who die in his chair? Anyway, as I said today, I'm not going to stay long because I want to go back to my books. And as I told you, today I'm working, I, I'm back working in translation of the Quran. And I hope we will be able to finish it as soon as I can. And this Quran will be the first Quran ever translated according to Revelation. If you do not know what according to Revelation mean, let me show you what does that mean. There is not even a single Quran until now exists according to Revelation. All right. <laughs> This is the Quran according to Revelation. This is the website you can search. The Muslims agree that the Quran which is sent by Allah to Muhammad is not the Quran today as revelation order. So the Quran I'm working right now in, the first verse, the chapter is not going to be chapter Al-Fatiha, it's going to be chapter of Al-Alaq, which is today in the Quran, today is a chapter 96. Second chapter will be Al-Qalam, Al-Muzammil, Al-Mudathir, etc. All right? So this is how the chapter the chapters will be lined up. It's totally different from the normal Quran which you have or people have in their hand uh, today. All right. Uh, so I hope I will be able to finish it, and this is why I decide not to stay many hours because staying many hours in YouTube is taking really too much of my time, and by the time I'm done, I'm exhausted and I have I, I don't want to look at the computer no more. So. Uh, uh, let us hope we will be able and by the way the the book in uh, uh, in the Malay language is going to be out in Amazon maybe in 48 hours maybe in a week maximum uh, we are just waiting for the copyright uh, uh, confirmation and then it's going to be published uh, so those who speak Malay and uh, some some of you said uh, why not in Indonesian I thought Indonesian people understand Malay language and why not in Indonesian because I don't have somebody translated to Indonesian as simple as that you know so we will we will provide books as much we can uh, based on those who help us in translation so I want to say thank you guys for being for being here and uh, I got to, to go back to work uh, please subscribe download my videos immediately I will not keep my videos in my channel uh, so in order to have them later you might not find them there's many people download my videos, but uh, maybe they don't download all of it. Maybe they download only the debates. So if you are interested in a video, specific one, you better download it, save it, post it in your channel. You can make it even a private. You don't, you know, if it's up to you. So download, share, and uh, help us in our work. So more and more people, they will be uh, knowledgeable and they will be able to learn. All right. Uh, we have somebody wanna call me. Is it, are you a Muslim? The one who wanna call me. The one wanna call me. Are you a Muslim? There's a guy. His name is Luca. Are you a Muslim, Mister? Luca, are you a Muslim? Are you a, are you a Muslim, Luca? If you are a Muslim, I will open Skype for you. See, the second we talk to them, they, they, they stop playing. Suddenly, they want, they want to call now. Do you want to call me, Luca? So, Luca was a hero. The second we mention his name, he go and sleep. 
he's saying to himself oh, oh he's talking about me now okay Luca I'm going to open my sky for you All right, let's see if you are truthful or not All right, Luca, text me, please. Text me and tell me that you are Luca. Are you there? Luca? Text me. The fraud is only your prophet, my friend, the one who promised you an endless penis. That is a fraud. That is a fraud. If you have the courage, call me. See, Luca is a is a potato. He don't have a courage to call me. I have a question: Why the Christian don't have the original source? We have thousands of manuscripts, so we have the original. It's you who don't have one manuscript. Secondly, Abdul, potato. Why you Muslims don't have the original Bible, brother? Isn't it Allah He sent the Bible? Why you don't ask Allah where is the original Torah, brother? What happened, brother? You think Allah He was asleep, snoring? Somebody started, brother. Why you don't ask the same question for yourself? Isn't it this is the book of Allah, brother? Brother, isn't it Allah who sent the Injil and the Torah, brother? But you're stupid, Allah cannot save one copy, brother. Can't he hide one in his closet, brother? So later, brother can show it to us, brother. Brother, sister, did the person ask me a question? And did the question we ask we ask a question? Why you cannot tell us the only the Torah set of the Bible? And look at them, they don't have the original titles. Look who's talking. <laughs> we have tens of thousands of manuscripts of the Bible. You have zero. We have even the Bible is written in rocks. We have the Bible written by arts, mosaic. We have the Bible written in every way, every language. What do you have? Nothing. What we have reference that the goat ate your Quran. And until now, the goat is wanted. And by the way, if you find the goat, let me know. Huh? As you see in front of us, this is the according to you, this is the Quran according to Revelation. Where is the Quran? Where is your Quran according to Revelation? I want to have it. Huh? Where is your Quran according to Revelation? You don't have it. <laughs> they don't have it. What happened? You are talking about the original, but you don't have any original. Even the book of Uthman, you don't have it. Where is the book of Uthman? You don't have it. You don't have the book of Uthman. You don't have the book of, of Muhammad. You don't have the book of anyone. Simply, you have nothing. As simple as that. What do you have? You know, a Muslim is the same as a camel. He is complaining about a pimple in your back. But he cannot see what he have in his back. Uh, admins, anyone say Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, ban them immediately. Those are Muslims. Anyone who say Catholic, Protestant. Orthodox ban them. Those are Muslim playing games. They try to make 
uh, the, the, the some city uh, people to fight. Yeah, Raja, you have to prove it. It's you who have many gods. You 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 have only one god. Your name his name is Muhammad. You have only one god. His name is Muhammad. Prove me wrong. Now, who is the Muslim when I call me? You you are the one who believe in the Trinity. If I type the word tree now in the Hadith or in the Quran, we'll find everything in Islam is based on the Trinity. Muhammad, Jibreel, and Allah. What is Islam? Muhammad never spoke to Allah. Allah never spoke to Muhammad. You have Muhammad, Jibreel, and Allah. Prove me wrong. What do you say when you start your prayer? In the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, three names. How many names for Allah have? 99, which is the multiply of number three. When you do ablution, what do you do? You have to wash it three times. And you are talking about the Trinity. You are the one who follows the Trinity. Everything in Islam is based on the Trinity. Even your prophet, when he say "Assalamu alaikum," he say it three times. Obviously, he have a mental illness. Before you have intercourse with your wife, you have to say the name of Allah three times. Huh? Are you there, Abdul? Anyone want to call? Luca, he want to debate me. Normal academic. The guy, he don't even know his prophet name correctly, and he want to do academic debate. See, guys, we debate academic. Let me show you the academic debate, you donkey. You see, I just used the donkey because this is this is satisfy the academic uh, uh, terms and conditions. Look what your prophet is about academic debate. Do you want to see the academic debate according to Islam? Let me show you. When you speak about academic, how come you don't ask your prophet to be academic? This is chapter 3, verse number 61. When the Christians, they came to debate him, he said, bring your wives, I bring my wives, I bring your children, I bring my children, bring your goat, I bring my goat, and let us curse Allah, ask Allah to curse the one is lying. This is an academic debate according to Islam. Do you see it? Abdul, do you see it? Have you ever heard of a debate like this? Bring your laptop, I bring my laptop, bring your car, I bring my car, bring your goat, I bring my car, bring I goat, bring your donkey, I bring my donkey, bring your Abdullah, I bring my Abdullah, bring your wives, I bring my wives, I bring your children, I bring my children, bring your niece, I bring my niece, I bring your nephew, I bring my nephew, I bring your cousins, I bring my cousins, bring yourself, I bring myself, and the most important, he forgot to bring himself. I mean, this is very good. Look. He did, he did not forget to say, bring yourself too. It's going to be horrible if he say not, all of those are coming, but not yet you. And this is a debate. This is academic debate according to Islam. And now let us do, let, let, let us do it in an Islamic way. Your turn, Christian friends. Uh, may Allah cut my nose if I'm lying. Your turn. Uh, may Allah make my uh, short turn if I'm lying. Okay, your turn. Uh, may Allah uh, hit me in my uh, if I'm lying. Your turn. But this is a debate. This is a coward. He have no answer. He's trying to run away from debating them. And Abdul talking about academic debate. Why you don't ask your God Allah to be smart a little bit when he speak about debate? Yeah, a Facebook chat is possible. Anyway, just ignore him. He's a kid. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. As I said, I'm not going to stay long today. Please download the video, share it around. And if there is a Muslim, he is serious. He claimed to be a sheikh or etc. Uh, he can contact me in Skype. All of you, you know my Skype. Uh, and we will be happy to take him to Allah. Because debating Christian prince, by the way, will increase the size, your size. You know what I'm talking about. And Allah will give you extra vagina. So... I mean, you will win anyway. Just debating me. Just by talking to me, Allah will bless you, brother. What do you want more in life, more than this? I mean, what is the existence of a human being in Islam more than this? If I am wrong, prove me wrong. The whole Islam is about this.
You go to heaven, Allah will make your penis will never sleep. You go to heaven, Allah will give you 80,000 little boys for sex. You go to heaven, Allah will give you uh, uh, the lowest, the least of people in paradise position is with 80,000 little boys. 80,000. Why? In the heaven of Allah, according to Islam, your clothes will never get dirty. They will never be wrinkled. They will never be ruined. You will never do poo-poo. You will never take a shower. You will never stink. You will never have a pee. And if you wish the food is going to be in the front of you before you move, so what the servant for? Any Muslim can tell me? You look at the sky, you see a bird, the bird right away will be in your dish if you wish it. So what the, and there's no garbage. There's no dishes to wait, to wash. So what the servants for? It's for sex. It's just a pure sex religion. Nothing more, nothing less. Somebody saying, show us the, how authentic this. This is a da'if, my friend. This is da'if. But did you hear, did you hear a Sheikh Hamza? He said, the argument of weak hadith is weak argument. Guys, did you hear that video? The Muslim, they say to you, oh, show us if this is authentic or not. You say da'if. This is, this is Jami'u Turmudi. This is Sahih book. The books of Sahih are six. So how it can be Sahih book and then it's da'if. But even if it is da'if, it is authentic because even the if is accepted it's not rejected there is something is called fabricated hadith that is rejected the if as long as it have a rank of the if its mean is accepted so only donkeys they play the game of the if you can go right now and search in YouTube where your brother Hamza he says to you explain to the donkeys that the if hadith is accepted and not only that he says that the if hadith is a weak argument weak hadith is a weak argument you see it just search for the hadith it's all over Weak hadith is a weak argument. When, a, when an idiot he says this is a weak hadith, he is giving a weak argument because weak hadith simply it accepted. This is why it's called weak. It pass. So they are like a copy paste. Somebody heard to say weak hadith. Weak hadith, brother. Anything weak hadith. Weak hadith is accepted. You strip it. It's mean it's illegitimate. It doesn't mean it is rejected. <laughs> anyway, love her. But you know, they are desperate. They are trying to find a way to run away from, from what is written in their books. So anything you say to them, they say to you right away, it's weak. Let me tell you, your Islam is weak, your God is weak, your Allah is weak, and your Muhammad is weak. And to the point, Islam is based, and look, by the way, by saying there's a weak hadith or something rejected, they claim that's mean Islam is not exist because Islam is based on two Quran and Sunnah. So if the Sunnah is not pure, that's mean Quran cannot be pure. If Quran is is the only source of Islam, and then the Muslim they say Quran is preserved, then we can say okay, Islam being preserved. But we find later that the Quran is not preserved, and the hadith is not. But Islam is based on two, and actually 80% of Islam, or maybe more, is based on the Hadith, not in the Quran. So by the second you say to me that Hadith is not accepted, it's mean you are saying to me Islam is corrupt, and we cannot trust anything about it. All right? Uh... Zakir Hussein says he want to challenge you. I know he is watching. Can you please call him? Who is Zakir Hussein? How I can call him? Let him say hi to me. This guy, Zakir Hussein. Huh? 
how I know him? I mean, have you asked, you are saying to me, call him? What, how I will find his name? He didn't call me. Zakir Hussein, you want to call me, my friend? What is Zakir Hussein? Who of you is Zakir Hussein? Where are you? He is dead now. Well, I'm not going to wait for him until tomorrow. I'm leaving soon. So if you want to call, he can call me. Are you there, Zakir Hussein? Well, we have somebody, he's saying, I was a Muslim, thanks to you, Ayat Islam. Well, thanks to the Lord, my friend. If you want to call me and you want to ask me something about Christianity, the, the, the person who said he just left Islam, let me share your text, in the, but I will not share your name. Anyway, there's no name here. I was a Muslim, but thanks to you, I have left Islam. I'm so happy for you, my friend. And I hope you will accept Jesus soon as your savior. Any Muslim? Yeah, we have thousands and thousands of people leave Islam after watching videos. And, you know, like God knows how many, and when, how I know. Like, if you don't say, I will not know. But for sure, there's the, the number is so huge, and Islam is collapsing left and right. Anyway, Muslims didn't dare to call me. They learned their lesson. <clears throat> Any Abdul? All right, looks like there's no Abdul in the bushes. And some people they are sending me uh, in Skype images. They got my books. This is one of my books. I hope you guys you like it. Okay, we have another guy, his name is Muhammad. He left Islam too. He just sent me this message now. I am also want to say thank you for showing me the truth. And now I believe in Jesus as my savior. Wonderful, my friend. Happy for you. Happy to see more and more of you leaving Islam and accepting the Messiah and, you know, coming to Christ. That's wonderful. Any Muslim? You see, Muslims, if you don't defend Islam, a lot of Muslims leave Islam because of my videos. You like it or not? A lot. You cannot believe it. Actually, in the last... In the last two months, I have no idea how many people they contacted me and they said we left Islam. You will not believe it. It's like you know, uh, suddenly you open you open uh, uh, a dam of water and the water come. Look like maybe we have a Muslim here at the sea. <clears throat> Hello? 
Yes, you can hear me. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, okay. I want to ask you a question about Christianity. Yes, but you are a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm Muslim. Okay, you want to ask me about what? Go ahead. Yes, I want to ask you, do you serve Jesus? Yes, I do. What about you? You yeah, serve? Okay. Do, do you serve Jesus or Allah? No, no, look, I serve Allah. Uh, who, who, is, who is Allah? Who is Allah? You serve a man. Okay, who is Allah? Who is Allah? You, it's the creator. How you know he's a creator? Do you have a proof that he's a creator? Your Allah, your Allah is a man. Okay, hold on. Jesus is a creator too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus in the Quran is a creator, isn't it? The Quran says that Jesus created from the bird, from the from the mother bird. What you mean? The Quran says that Jesus created from the mud, the bird. Yes or no? No, no, no. Jesus is not God. He is a messenger. No, no. I asked you who is your God. You, listen, listen. I asked you who is your God. You said the Creator, but the Quran says that Allah. No, no. Jesus is not God. He said in the whole Bible. But you are the one who said to me. Hold on. You are the one who listen to me. You are the one who said to me. I asked you who is your God. He said. You said the Creator, but Jesus in the Quran, he's a Creator too. Okay, let me ask you a question. No, no, why well, you want to change the topic? You, you open a topic, let's finish, my friend. And same time, same time, same time, hold on, same time, same time, you Muslims, same time, you Muslims believe in how many creators you believe. Look, you said you believe, you believe Jesus is God. Yes. Okay, you serve Jesus, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, the Bible says, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Mm. In Matthew 20 28. Okay. Now, why do you say you serve Jesus when the Bible says don't? Well, because Jesus, he said in the same in the same chapter, if you want to be my follower, you have to serve. To be the master, you have to be the servant. So for him, he was no, no, no. read the verses before it, my friend. Don't take don't take the things out of contact. You know the, 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 the stupid game. This so so he told them, he told them, if you want to be the first, you if you want to be the first, you have to be the last. If you want to be the first, if you want to, if you want, if you want to be like me, if you want to be like me, I am your master, I'm your Lord. If you want to be like me, then you have to serve. I came to serve, to serve us. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you, when Allah, he provide you with, uh, with wine in the heaven, who is the one serving the wine to you? Is it Allah or you? It's not me, it can be a servant. No, no, but who is the one who provide you the, the wine? It can be young boys. No, no. Who is the one who provided the, the the boy? The boy you just said young boy, right? Okay, perverted cult. Now I'm asking you, who is the one who provide the wine? Who is the one who made the wine for you? How do we get into? Who is the one who made the wine? Please don't change topic. Who is the one who will made the wine for you? The wine, there's no alcohol in it. This, this is not the question. Yeah, it's a wine, but there's no alcohol, guys. <laughs> this is not the question. Who is the one who will make the wine for you? Wine, it can it can be there in gender. It can be. This is not the question. Who is the one who made the wine for you, my friend? The question is very simple. Who is the one who will made the wine for you? What is the point? I I have a point to it. Just tell me who is the one who made the wine. Yeah, okay, you can ask also who will make the honey. Yeah, the same. Who is the, who make the honey? Yes, who make he make, who make the honey for you there? Allah makes the honey. Thank you. That is a service. So you are saying to me how Jesus served. But your God is going to serve you in heaven. He will make wine for you. Ah, he will make honey for you. According to you, according to you, your God is a cook in heaven. He make honey. He make wine for you. He spent the whole day in the kitchen just cooking for you. What kind of God he is? You want to talk about wine and all. See, you are the one change the topic. You are the one who called me to say is how you serve. My friend, you see a Muslim, the second, the second he, he asks a question, he can't stand for his question. This is the question you ask me. Why why you reject Jesus to serve us? Why you reject Jesus to serve us? And look what how he served. He washed the feet of his followers, saying you have to be humble. Your God, supposed to he is God, he is the creator, but now, right now in heaven, he is soft in the skin of women for you, so you had have sex with them. Okay, let me say something. Mm. Your God in the Bible, he says in the Bible, I can of my own self do nothing. Mm. I can do nothing. Mm. Is, is is this God? Okay. So okay. What in the in the same chapter he says too that he is he is the one who created everything. So you cho you yeah. choose you choose whatever you like. I he is saying to them from my own I am me the man in front of you. He can do nothing. So I am not the man. The man who is doing this is God. So we we Christians we believe in God who came to us as a man. The form of the man can do nothing, but God in the man he can do everything. So he said in the same time they said to him they said to him why you don't show us the father show us the father he said to them 
I am with you all this time and you do not recognize me the one who saw me he saw the father yes or no 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 what no 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 it's not up to you now let me ask you a question how your God Allah look like Allah, the, no one knows no your prophet you describe him no no now I, I know what you kind of do now you want to say Allah has two hands and stuff Allah, you want to say all this stuff I am not saying that your prophet he described him as a short man with big ass no, no, no. Okay, read the hadith for me. It's on the screen. Read the hadith. Okay, read the hadith. My friend, read the hadith. Read the hadith. It's in front of you. And this is Sahih hadith. You like to talk about my friend. Read the hadith. This is your prophet saying so, not me. Don't change the topic. You 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 reject Jesus as a man, but your God Allah is a man. No, you always talk about sex and all this stuff. I am not talking about sex now. Your, your prophet, he said no, that your pro my friend, I'm not talking about sex now. I, by the way, I'm not the one talking about sex. Is your prophet? When you are you saying to me the one who talk about sex is a filthy guy? Hello. Are you no, saying no, that? You, your God are, was nine months inside of a woman. Woman. Okay. Okay. So okay. Hold on. Hold on. Don't use a uh, bad language. But let me ask you. As long it's my true. God. Okay. As long as as long my God, he was as you claim. So why your Quran says that Jesus is holy? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus, you see, you are you, you are. Don't be. Don't play coward now. As long Jesus is born of a vagina, as you claim, why the Quran says he's holy? What? Why the Quran says Jesus is holy if he is born of a vagina? Jesus is not holy. So not okay, so you are saying to me the Quran is lying. No, no, no. The Bible always says. Okay, Jesus here we go. Show me. Okay, here we go. The Quran in front of you. Read the verse for me. Chapter nineteen, verse number nineteen. Why you are lying? What is this? Read it. Here we go on the screen. It's in the screen. Yeah. Okay. Two seconds. Chapter nine. Uh, chapter nineteen, verse number nineteen. Miracle. It's a miracle. Number nineteen, brother. Can you zoom out a little bit? Yeah. Here we go. Does it say that he is a holy son? This is uh, number 19, yes? Mm -hmm. It says, he said, nay, I am only a messenger from thy Lord. Yeah, this is the angel, only Abdul. This is the angel, supposedly. This is not about Jesus. Just prove my point right here. I'm only a messenger. Abdul, don't be stupid. This is the angel talking now, not Jesus. Don't be a donkey. The angel saying, I am an, a messenger, speaking to Mary. Stop being stupid. Now, it's not Jesus speaking now. It is the angel saying to Mary, you see how stupid you are? You don't even know what is in your Quran. Which, which verse you showing this from? It's from the Quran or what? Uh, uh, no, this is Yellow Pages. Allah has no son. This is not a question. You see, don't change the topic. You are the one who said to me that Jesus is born of a vagina and he is not holy. Your Quran says Jesus is holy. So which one of you is a stupid? You or your God? <laughs> which verse is this? I told you chapter 19 verse 19 how many times I need to let me repeat for you chapter 19 verse number 19 chapter 19 verse number 19 chapter 19 chapter verse nine. number 19 chapter 19 verse number chapter 19 verse number 19 and I'm sure after two minutes you will ask me which verse is that chapter 19 mm. verse 19 huh? mm. two seconds mm. The Quran it clearly clearly say, well, look 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 you you have found this translation where it says holy son so the Quran says Allah has no son nor any part don't don't change topic Allah. don't change topic Allah have no son but okay hold on hold on okay, you know so so now so so now we agree that Jesus is holy yes or no what? do you agree that Jesus is holy yes or no no prove me wrong Give me, give me, give me a proof. Okay, hold on. It's a challenge in the front of everybody. Show me one place in the whole Islamic book says Jesus is not holy. It's not a holy son. I am not. This is your Islamic website. This is your Islamic translation. And now I challenge you to show me one Islamic book saying that Jesus was a sinner. This one is a lie. This one is a lie. Oh, this is a lie. So, so Allah is lying. Allah is lying. No, no, no. It says a pure boy. Oh, so what the pure mean? You just said to me that he is born of a vagina. How he can be born of a vagina and he's pure? He's not pure uh, in the sense that his body, there is something on it. Uh -huh. The baby itself is pure. <coughs> it's hard. Is your prophet pure? Of course, yes. Okay, what if I show you he is not? What you will do? You promise me you open the camera and do the monkey dance in front of everybody? <laughs> no, it's not funny. Okay, well, here we go. I can show you from the Quran. Are you going to say to me the Quran is lying too? 
No, no, no. You're playing games. Now we're on a show. No, no hold on, hold on. What we're doing in front of everybody. If I show you, uh, if I show you, if I show you from the Quran, what do you do? Here we go. Chapter 84, verse number two. What do you do? Don't ask me one thing. I, I'm asking you. If I show you from the Quran, if I show you from the Quran, any translation you wish, your, your prophet Muhammad was a very filthy sinner. What you would do? No, you were lying. You were lying. Okay, my friend, here we go. A challenge in the front, everybody. What the word them mean? Do you know? What the word what? Read with me. This is a chapter 48, verse number two. I cannot see the screen. There's something uh, covered in it. Mm. The burqa. Yeah, I, I have a burqa on the screen. <clears throat> Does it say that Allah may Allah forgive your sin to Muhammad? How he is holy, but he Allah will forgive his sin. Yeah, okay. Look, look what you what is your point right now? See, what I don't you don't change the topic. I asked you, is Jesus holy? You said no, I got you busted. No, Jesus is not holy. I say to you, no, the Quran saying that. I said to you, is Muhammad holy? You said yes, I got you busted. The Quran says no, Muhammad no, is no, is a is a big fat sinner. Hold on. Does it say there, may Allah forgive you for the f past and the coming sin? Yes or no? Yeah, well, what is your point? My point, you said to me that Muhammad is holy. How Muhammad is holy, but he's a big time no, sinner. No, 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 no. Look, don't put words in my mouth. We can play this back. I so, never once said that Muhammad sallallahu You said Muhammad is pure, right? I never said it. I asked you, you said to me, Jesus is pure. I said to you, Muhammad is pure. You said yes. <laughs> oh, no, look, look, look. You said no, that. Abdul, Abdul, stop, stop digging for boogers. Answer me. Isn't it you? I ask you, is Jesus, you said to me, Jesus is pure. I said to you, okay, is Muhammad is pure? You said yes. You, you said yes. You said yes. Okay, let, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. You said to me, you believe in Allah. He is God, correct? Yes. Allah okay, is God. okay. No God All right. So there's no God but Allah. There's no God but Allah. So how the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? How many creators you Muslims have in your religion? There's one creator, and that is Allah. So are you saying to me the Quran saying that is a mistake? No, no. But the Quran it also says we, we. we. No, 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 no. This is this is not the question. When he say he is the best of the creators, is there other creators? No, there's not another creator. So why he says I am the best of the creators? Because Allah is the best of the creators. But there's no other creators. No, Allah is the only creator. So how he say is the best of the creators? Okay, if, if a man he makes an iPhone. No, this is not he, a creation. Is he not a creator? No, he is not. IPhone. No. Creation yeah, in the meaning of religion. Abdul, 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 Abdul. No. no. Creation in the meaning of religion, the Quran says, who is the one we call the creator? He said, if somebody can create even a fly, he is a creator. Is that correct? Uh, can you show me on the screen? Or if I show you what you will do, I will try to answer a question because you are not making any sense right now. Chapter twenty-two. Also, you are saying to me, Allah don't make sense, guys. Take a, be, be a witness. No, 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 I, I just said to you, the one who can create a fly. You said to me that does not make sense. Thank you very much. No. Chapter no, twenty-two. No. Chapter twenty-two, verse number seventy-three. Allah is saying that if somebody can create a fly, you worship him. Then no one can create a fly. Well, Jesus created no. the bird. Jesus and the Quran created the bird. There's no doubt uh, Jesus alayhi salam, he had some things he could do. Ah, he had okay, he do what? He do hummus. What he do? Do he do hummus? He create birds. Is it true he create birds? Is it true he create birds? The, the verse here is saying if somebody can create a fly and above, he is God. Jesus created the bird from the mud and he breathed into the mud and he gave it life. He breathed from his breathing. Now, are you trying to say that this proves that the uh, Jesus is God or what? Well, yes, I asked you what made God God. You said to me he's the creator. I, I'm not denying that Jesus alayhi salam he had some miracles he could do. No, this is not a miracle. 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 Because you see, this is this is this is beyond mi mi miraculous stuff because now he is giving life. Jesus is not he is doing what God can do. You see, God he can provide his prophet with miracles. As an example, your prophet, he have a miracle. He can have sex with all his wife, all of them, 13 wives in, in 15 minutes. Look, look let, let, me, let me ask you a question about the, about the crucifix. Why do you want to change the topic? No, let, let me just ask you a question. No, no why do you want to change the topic? We're talking about God. What kind of God? What kind of no, God? No, your God. You have what kind of God? Your God, he cannot, he cannot create anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said to me, your God is a creator. Do you have a proof that he can create anything? Jesus, you admit that Jesus can create from the mother bird. 
You admitted that Jesus, he can make the blind see. You admitted that Jesus, he can do things nobody can do. Now, can he prove to me that Allah can do anything? Something he would be explicit about. Uh -huh. Okay, what God, what Allah, what Allah can do? Can you tell me something Allah can do? Allah, Allah can die. What, can, what is your point? Allah cannot what? Allah can die. Can die? Will yeah, my God, die. my God, never oh, die too? Like you are God. My, my, no, your God, no. your God cannot die because He never been alive. No, no, you are God. He decomposed. No, that's true. That's that's not true. Prove it. No, no, you ask me if my God died. I say Allah cannot die. No, I, 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 okay, no problem. Your God cannot die because He is an idol. He is not exist. He is false. No, no. You can kill something that exists now. Jesus, Jesus, no, no, no. let me ask you. Okay, you are the one who said to me, God cannot die. Is Jesus alive now? No, no, no answer me. Is Jesus alive or not? No, 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 no. You see, stay focused. You are like a monkey jumping from a branch to a branch. You said God cannot die, correct? No problem. So, is Jesus alive or not? If Jesus is alive, right? If he's alive, yes, right now, as we speak, is he alive or dead? <laughs> no matter who it is, or answer, answer. Why change the topic? Why do I answer? Is Jesus alive or dead now? You said to me, you are the one who said to me, God, don't die. Is Jesus alive or not? Jesus is not dead right now. This is not okay. Jesus is not dead, guys. Take the news. So, you just to prove to me that Jesus is God because why everybody is dead except Jesus? Explain to me. Another, look, for example, George Bush, he is also alive right now in hell. No, he's not. He's alive in hell. No, he's not. What is your point? No, he's not. According to your religion, he's not. According to my religion, he's not. Don't stop lying because there is time, it's called resurrection. Don't stop being a liar. Resurrection is because you don't believe in the. In punishment in the grave no no we don't believe in the punishment of the grave but this is stupid of you by the way you just said punishment of the grave do you believe in that yes yes there's no doubt about it there's okay let me ask you is it so you believe that there's 99 dragons will go inside your anus there is snakes in the grave they punish and eat you over and over yeah and they will go inside your anus specifically yeah. this is why you muslim sunni you put a piece of cotton in the anus of a human being and you push it with a stick correct no 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 not true. what do you mean so why you put uh, so why you put the cotton in the anus of a, of a, of a dead man no, no, you don't make sense, my wife. Right? I'm asking you why you put the carton. If this is not true, why you put the carton when you die? Why they put a carton in your anus when you die? Who puts a carton in there? Your family, they will book a carton. What after they wash you, they they will push hard a piece of carton so that the the the, 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 the the snakes. Okay, right. okay, hold on. Aren't you the one who said to me that there's 99 snakes will go and you would you in the grave? I never said there's 99. How many? How many? Snakes in okay, the how many? How many snakes? How many? There was, I have not read the hadith totally, but it was like uh, a snake. I don't know its full description, but there are snakes and uh, and other animals, like uh, scorpions. Okay, what they will do? What they will do? What they will do? They will do like uh, things like go inside the mouth. They will do go inside the, the holes on the human being so it can hurt as much as possible. Mm, but they are dead, right? They are not dead. They are alive. Why no, 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 no. You are dead. You are. You are dead. You are dead. But inside you, inside you, the the, the you there is. Believe in soul or what? Okay, where is the soul when you die? Okay, you hold on. Soul, right? Hold on. Listen. Just sleeps. Is your soul as your body? Is your soul is inside you still when you die? No, no, no. No, For, no matter who it is, at the moment of death. When the soul is about to taken out, you will feel the experience. Ah, the okay, okay, okay. Here, here. First Relative of all, mouth, you know, okay, okay, <clears throat> okay. Hold on, hold on. Yes. You're a prophet. He said that in the grave there is ninety nine dragons. Is that correct? Not dragons. Okay, so what they are? Can you find the? Can you show on screen? What if I show you what you would do? <laughs> You like to play these games man. because I know if I show you, you will you will say I don't care. I believe it was something with a snake with with seven heads. Seven heads, not nine heads. I don't remember. Show me because you are the one. Who or maybe seven, so maybe seven snakes and and uh, and the ninety nine head or something like that. Because your prophet he keeps saying things, no, no. and he he because he lie, so he he cannot keep his words. No, no, there are so many creations in the earth. Mm. Why would Allah not make other creations? You know, what? It's easy. This is easy for Allah to make another creations inside the grave. There can be a snake with two heads, no problem. Mm. Three heads, no problem. Why is this a problem? Okay, Allah so what? What? Why? Why? Why Allah will put ninety? Uh, will put a dragon 
And the dragon uh, uh, is it's is a have dragon. a it's a the dragon. dragon is in something you've seen cartoons. Come on, man. Okay, do you want me to show you the reference? Show me the let me see dragon. All right. And you will get debunked. <laughs> you really? Yes, yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, yes. Look, you know that I. All right. you, you know right now we are playing your game, but I'm a I'm a boss who at your own game. All right. Okay. Here we go. It's in the front of you. <coughs> Do you see it? It says, it says, here we go. It's a blah, blah, blah. And then he says, And then he says, In the grave, there's 99 dragons. Do you see it? Don't tell me, no, no, no. It's in the front of your face. And this is Tafsir Al Quran. Tafsir al Quran al Azim. Tafsir al Quran al Azim. Do you see it? Do you see it? By Ibn Kathir. By Ibn Kathir. By Ibn Kathir. So don't tell me I don't see it. It doesn't say that. So this is Tafsir al Quran al Azim. It says that in your. Show me in English. Show me in English. Let people see. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can fight in English. So you, are you saying to me you don't speak Arabic? Are you saying to me you don't speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic. Ah, speak Arabic. You are a false Muslim. You pray to Allah. You do not know no, what you are no, saying. No. Look, look, you don't have to speak Arabic to be Muslim. Ah, Arabic. no, you have to pray to Allah in Arabic, no? You don't have to speak Arabic to be Muslim. Arabic. As I know, my my friend, as I know, you have, you have, you have to pray to Allah in Arabic, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. How you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? To, to memorize the Quran. Huh? Pray Salah, but uh, I cannot speak Arabic. Allah has made it easy. So when you read the Quran, the, the soul and the brain, it, it memorizes it, it quickly. All around the world, the Muslims, they they, uh, they speak the Quran and they memorize it. Okay, do you, do you memorize the Quran? Okay, do you, do, you, do you memorize the Quran? I have not memorized the Quran. No, I'm asking you why you don't memorize. I thought everybody memorized the Quran except you. Look like you are a bad Muslim. No, not not everyone. That, that, that doesn't make you a bad Muslim. Did your prophet memorize the Quran? Yes. So why the Quran says that he forgot the Quran? It didn't forget the Quran. It's a complete book. It's a complete book. Okay. <laughs> now, Look, my friend. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. We, we want to go. We want to go and show everybody that 99 dragons will go inside your anus. Hold on, hold on. Don't you want to see the 99 dragons go inside your anus? Hold on. Let us see. Let us find it. it it's snakes who are punishing the, the, the person inside the grave. No problem. No problem. Okay. Yeah, but That's they are. Funny. But they are dragons. They are dragons, right? Not dragons, they are black okay. snakes. Okay, we will see if this is true or not. Inside the grave. We but will it's see. It's happening right now to some people. Uh huh. Yeah. Why well, you don't put the camera there? What camera? Camera, so you can record everything happening. No, no, I don't, right now I don't have no camera. I'm Why? Why? Camera. I'm, I'm not uh, very used to do this, you know? Why? What do you mean? What do you mean, camera? Hmm. I'm on the Guys, here we go. This is the English. Look. I can find this is the question. English translation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you the Islamic corruption. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. Shut up. Specific. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir in English. What is the 99 dragons? Why the Muslims took it? I don't say. I don't see it. Find the way you say dragon. It doesn't say dragon. In English, it doesn't say dragon. No, but in Arabic, it says that. There's no dragon, man. My friend, it says there in Arabic, dragon. <laughs> Here we go. I will put it in the Arabic. In the English, cannot find it. This is Ibn Kathir. This is the book on Google. This is the book in Google. Everybody can see Tafsir al-Quran al-Azim. All right? This is the chapter. This is the ayah. And this is the page. Page number 323. Shut up. Hold on. Variant number 5. Variant number 5. Chapter of Taha. Huh? Page number, hold on. Page 123 to 126. Page number 20, 123 to 126. Where we can find it? Why Why it doesn't say? Why in English is gone? What happened? I will tell you. I will tell you what happened because your Muslims are a scam. You know, you took it off. Why you took it off? Why in English? We don't find it here. It's in front of us. In front of us in here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Just go, go. Just go. I don't, I don't have time for kids. This is, guys, this is the Arabic one. It says in the front of us. Hey, don't call me, don't call me. Just 
You're all done for today. What a kid. You keep jumping from a monkey like a monkey. Even monkeys don't jump like you. It says in the front of us. Let me zoom more in the text. There's no dragon, right? Yeah, right. I changed any Muslim to call. And I changed any Muslim to tell me why in the English translation we cannot find this. He said here. فَإِنَّ مَعِيشَةٌ ضَنْكَ أَتَدْرُونَ مَا الْمَعِيشَةٌ ضَنْكَ he says, do you know what the, the, the hard, the tough uh, life? He said, uh, they said Allah and his messenger knows best. He says, The torment of the kafir in the grave. And he said, and I swear by the one who have my sword in his hand, that Allah will unleash on you 99 dragons. Do you know what at tanin tanin we can take the word right now and we place it in the in Google translation. You will see the word tanin is dragon. At a drunam at tanin, he said he said to him, Do you know what a tanin? He said, he said, Tusun what is una hayya 99 snake head. And every snake head have seven heads. Every snake have nine uh, seven heads. And they are going to uh, breathe into his body and they are going to bite him. And they will scratch him until the judgment day. But hold on. If we have 99 and each head, 99 dragon, every dragon have nine, uh, 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 the head have seven snakes. What is the total? Let us calculate. <laughs> uh, I, I, tomorrow, tomorrow, call me if we go on air. You know, you are fun. Uh, so we have let us see 99 dragon then x uh, uh, 7 okay and uh, uh, every dragon have 19 and is 99 snakes okay then x7 that would be 693 uh, 693 head of a snake so one a dragon, but they have it has six hundred ninety three head of a snake, and all of them they are biting you. Uh, here, if you go down, it says he is conf you know confirming the same. Mm -hmm. Let us go down in the page more. Yeah, he's just repeating the same thing. So do you see this is how we strip at the skull and here you see the corruption this is why i say to you when you learn islam from muslims they lie where is the 99 dragon this is ibn kathir in english and this is a chapter 20 verse from 123 to 126 we cannot find it in english where is the 99 dragons and where is the snakes they are gone they are gone they took them off. There's no snakes. There's no dragons. Anything will make Islam look stupid. They took it off. This is why I say to you, never buy a translation done by Muslims. They lie. What is the authority of the translator to take such a story from the Quran? If Ibn Kathir is saying that in Arabic and you are translating, who are you to take it off? Anything make Muhammad and his books look stupid, they take it off. Do you see it? No, my friend, the Muslim, they can call me tomorrow, including this guy who called me today. He is funny. Uh, tomorrow we will continue because I told you I want to go back to work in the Quran and we want to finish this project. So I want to say thank you all for being here. Don't forget, please, to subscribe, invite your friends and tell them about what we do. Don't forget to to uh, to give a like and support what we do. Uh, they flag my videos like crazy, but still we are victorious and they cannot stop us. We have many many accounts. They, they do your best, you know. Uh, uh, nobody can stop us, and actually that make more Muslims leave Islam because Muslims they are wondering, like this guy now he called me. Look how he jumped like a monkey from a place to a place. Each time he 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 mentioned something, he got busted. He changed the topic in the speed of light. Because Islam is embarrassing, Islam is a stupid, Islam as a cult cannot stand the questions. 
they ask you questions the same questions they ask you they cannot ask it to themselves we can answer it they cannot answer the same questions about their cult Islam is the most stupid religion and nobody can defend it and he look you know when somebody tries to defend Islam he looks stupid not because you're stupid because Islam is a stupid I feel sorry for you how a person can defend such a cult nobody can defend it my friend the second you start defending it you will look funny stupid you said to me you believe in the punishment of the grave here we go we have 99 dragons inside your anus who who in the world want to believe in this you say to me that God how God can be God and he die but you believe in the same time that you are dead but alive and not only that let me show you you Muslims believe that Muhammad is God because Muhammad he claimed that when you pray Allah will place all your prayer to him in the grave read and love <clears throat> This is your prophet talking, not me. He said, pray every Friday, for your prayer will be displayed in front of me. They said to him, how, how our prayer will be displayed in front of you? The angels will give it to you. He said, because we prophets, our, our body will not decay. Read it. Muhammad, he claimed that he is living eternal. He is alive. He is not dead. Even the prayer will not go to Allah, will go to him. He is your God. You pray, your prayer does not, does not go to Allah, it goes to Muhammad. They say to him, how this will happen? You will be dead and you, your body will be consumed. Your body will be decayed. He said, no, 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 no. We, the prophet, our body don't decay. And later when Muhammad, he died, the Muslim refused to bury him for three days because Muhammad, he said that the body of, of, of people like him will not, the prophet will not decay. And later they discover that he stink which means they discovered that Muhammad is a fraud he promised them that the body of the Prophet will never be consumed three days three nights the Muslim did not bury Muhammad and then all the reference says that the, the Prophet he stink we have tons of reference even his his fingers nails became a green even he start farting which is normal for a human being if he die and his belly is, is have food you know after a person he die if you keep him uh, especially in the in mecca it's hot <coughs> so the bacteria is inside his belly the food he ate the bacteria will start consuming the food and then that will make gas and then his belly will be keen this is why the hadith says rabba rabba batnuhu, hatta rabba batnuhu. let me find it for you here we go all those reference saying the same <coughs> read with me this is the book tahdibu 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 al kamali fi asma al rijal it says here in Rasulullah Lamamat Alam Yutfan Hatta Rabba Batnahu when Thana Khun Sarahu. It's uh, uh, when the Prophet he passed away did not bury him until his belly became so big from gas. Rabba Batnahu became so big. He started farting. And uh, when Thana Khun Sarahu, his, his fingers they became they collapse, you know, they shrink because his body is being consumed. So the Muslims, you know, they follow a false prophet who made a promise that when he die, his body will not be consumed. And then what happened is totally the opposite. So how you can believe in such a cult? <clears throat> if we go to moral life on air, feel free, all of you, those who want to call me, you can send me text messages to Skype and I will call you. Uh, and uh, thank you for the caller for exposing Islam. And tomorrow maybe you can do better. Study your homework, my friend. And remember, you are talking to Christian Prince. Even though I speak down to you with your level, I did not give you a very harsh questions because I know that Muslims, they are the last one to know what Islam is about. But don't blame me if you look silly and stupid when you talk to me because you are defending a silly, stupid religion. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. And again, may the Lord bless you. And I wish you a great time with your family. And until we see you maybe tomorrow if I can, until I see you then, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, download the videos, and do the good work.
God, he told us to do. God bless and take care. Bye-bye.